I always admire comedians who can use, there's some clever comedians out there and they use literary references in their stand-up and I thought, I want a bit of that action, man. And I thought, well, Tony, what books do you remember reading? Well, there's Puff the Magic Dragon and uh, that one where that Russian dude kills an old lady with an ax that feels shit about it the rest of the movie. Book! The book! I admire that. No, an, 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 Another thing I admire is uh, I admire and genuinely admire uh, people who do music in comedy. W w you know, when they get it right. Um, <laughs> and who am I to judge? Because I don't... But uh, I, I love... You know, there's like... Uh, you know, and, uh, uh, there's like... Um, David O'Doherty, who's brilliant, lovely, he's gorgeous. I'm a little in love with him. And he, and he, he makes... So he can do funny, and then he'll do music and takes it somewhere else. And then you've got uh, all the other... There's loads. Uh, and then there was like, no, you know, Bill, Bill Bailey, you know, wonderful. And then there was like a Dimitri Martin, remember he used to do, probably still does, but he used to do here, but now somewhere else, he'd play the guitar and do one-liners, really clever, sharp one-liners, and then he'd play music over the top of it and make, sort of extend it and take it somewhere else. And I thought, I need a bit of that fucking action, man. I'm gonna do that. But then I ran into a problem right away. <laughs> Because uh, I realized, Tony, you don't know how to do music. <laughs> so that's, that's an issue, isn't it? Um, you cannot do music. It's like, um, but it's just like, it, I didn't, it wasn't sort of on the cards for me growing up. Uh, we weren't, it didn't come from a, such a musical, uh, like I grew up on a pig farm in Canada. So I don't blame my parents for not encouraging me to do music. Because I, then I, I read uh, that Malcolm Gladwell guy, who did, he said it takes 10,000 hours to get good at anything, really good. And I decided to do this a week before the Edinburgh Festival <laughs> to do music. And I'm, I'm no mathematician, but I don't think there's 10,000 hours in a week, am I right? <laughs> so I was in a bit of a bind. So I thought, well, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna? So I tried the ukulele, that shit is hard. <laughs> so I abandoned that right away. And I thought, well, I don't know. I don't, what, what am I gonna do? I mean, um, what sort of music, can I, you know, and just, you know, I mean, I've done 10,000 hours of stuff before. Like, I've fed and castrated pigs for at least 10,000 hours. <laughs> but that's not going to help me with music, is it? Thanks a lot, Mom and Dad, you fuckers! <laughs> no, I can't blame my dad. He's a pig farmer in Canada. Why would he encourage music, you know? Um, and I don't blame my mom. And she's from Trinidad and Tobago. That's a very musical culture. And, uh, you know, but I don't blame her for not encouraging me to do music and the arts. Because, well, I mean... Uh, she was, you know, on account, she was depressed for 40 years on account of now living on a pig farm <laughs> in Canada. So, you know, I don't blame her. But I thought that's the side of the culture I need to tap into if I'm going to do music. I thought uh, if it's going to have to be quick. So I ended up settling on an instrument that is, uh, is, is massive and that's why it's far away from the stage. Um, and I thought... It might come to me through, oh, there you go, money shot. <laughs> a man in 19th century trousers. And so I ended up settling on that bad boy right there. Which is, uh, yeah, you guessed it, I murdered a turtle. <laughs> so I ended up settling on this and, uh, I thought it might, you know. Oh. Then I ran into another problem, as I realized, I can't do one-liners. <laughs> now, some people think that the, uh, the steel pan, the tenor pan, that is the correct pronunciation. Although being in Wales, damn it! It can go very wrong, the Trinidadian accent in Wales, can it? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, not child, what? Uh... <laughs> so what Some people think the... Uh... <laughs> so you've noticed another problem, haven't you? Is I can't both play and talk at the same time. <laughs> And 
look at me, I'm staring at it like a dog staring at a fridge. <laughs> And then, <laughs> so I'm in a real bind because I've committed. Because a lot of people think that the, the steel pan, the tenor pan, is the most joyous instrument in the world. I mean, it was even, it's, uh, you always, almost always associate it with uh, holidays and happiness and sort of fantasy. And it was even invented that way. It was at the end of the Second World War, all the Trinidadians decided to celebrate in the way that they know, which is to get drunk for four days and cover yourself in oil. And, <laughs> pick up bits of oil drum and just bash it. And they accidentally realized they were getting notes and they went, oh shit, nah, keep bashing. <laughs> so they sort of accidentally created an instrument through joy and drunkenness, but, <coughs> and yet this joyous instrument <laughs> the only two notes I can get so sad. <laughs> so then I didn't know what to do. Well, what am I going to do? All I can do is make a joyous instrument sound sad. What should I do? Then I, and then I hit on it like that. I nailed it like a day before the Edinburgh Festival. Show's got to be ready, and I went, I know what I'm going to do. Shock comedy. Eh. The comedy most comedians are too afraid to do, because they're not 12 anymore. <laughs> and yet a few of them have done very well out of it, haven't they? <laughs> Why do they continue doing it? Money, 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 money. Oh yeah, what's the difference between a woman and a public toilet? <laughs> Something horrible. Because <laughs> I think this instrument, the sound I'm getting from it, the sad sound, I think lends itself to how you should feel when you say certain things, don't you? Um, something that ends with rape? <laughs> what? You're a millionaire. Rapey millionaire. Money, 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 rapey millionaire. Oh, yeah, the... It's one of those accents. I'll just do, uh, <laughs> a, a, a retarded, <laughs> mentally handicapped, um, a retard, oh, a retarded, fat, blind, uh, a, a, a retarded, um, Retarded boy, <laughs> uh, mentally, um, uh, what, uh, fuck, one day he goes on and he's, gonna, he's probably gonna fuck his mother or something. <laughs> what? Why say that, you fucking millionaire? <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> he's picked on in school. Not quite enough. <laughs> then I bumped into Rich Hall, the great Rich Hall, and he said to me, uh, I was struggling, and I, he said to me, Tony, what you need to do is stop trying to do other people's stuff. You need to try and do your own thing with that thing. I'm not sure what it is you do. Uh, it's in the comedy section, so I assume it's comedy, but still. Try your own sort of angle. So, is there anything more 
mysterious than a television on in a room with no one in it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People with lizard faces. <laughs> well, that was so lizard faces, Tony. <laughs> Next time a witch offers to turn me into a dog, I'm gonna ask some questions first. <laughs> like A, how long for? And B, how many limbs do I get? I wasted my 20s as a three-legged, three-legged, <laughs> three-legged legged dog in Athens during the boom times. Slam, that made no sense at all. <laughs> Plus it came with a mistake. Hey, Chinese buffets, I'm on to you in your small place. <laughs> Thing is, if you've got a musical instrument, you can really stretch bits out. <laughs> That is what I have noticed. <laughs>